My name is Justin Labradini. Uh, I'm an Eagle Scout with uh, Crew 911 out of Conno, Texas. Uh, I'm an emergency medical responder and a first aid instructor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about a uh, typical first aid kit you would bring to a patrol or troop activity. First thing you want to think about is protecting yourself. And so that would include, first and foremost, uh, gloves to protect yourself from uh, bloodborne pathogens. You're going to want to have some eye protection in case of any sort of splashing. A soap or hand sanitizer. I prefer hand sanitizer because you may or may not have water. The next most important thing in my opinion would be uh, gauze pads. And then you're going to have a triangular bandage to uh, secure them. Along with some uh, medical tape and some roller gauze. I would suggest uh, everyone put a SAM splint in the first aid kit. It's a portable, uh, lightweight, universal splint. Uh, you can bend it into any sort of uh, fracture that you might have. Um, get some ACE bandages for uh, strains. If you're doing any sort of hiking, moleskin would be highly recommended. It's to uh, protect yourself from blisters, and if you do get blisters, you can cut a donut hole out of it and relieve some of the pressure. You're gonna wanna have some sort of uh, antiseptic. Uh, I have news for in here. Um, you want to put that directly on the wound before you put any sort of gauze pan or uh, band-aids on there. Um, tweezers always a must. Ticks, uh, splinters, anything like that. And a uh, pad and some sort of writing utensil to take notes on to give to uh, advanced medical care. Are you going to have some scissors to be able to cut your uh, moleskin or roller gauze. I hope this is helpful. Uh, like I said, this is just a very basic uh, list of supplies you might put in your first day kit for just a basic patrol activity.